let's just settle into our meditation posture and maybe things from oh here I am again the whole big screen just me I think I'll get rid of that uh, okay that's better there you all are I can see you all um, <clears throat> any things that are happening in your day in your life that are either worrying or troublesome just sort of it's good to just kind of allow them to arise and observe them not freak out but just observe look at them maybe it's curious or interesting <clears throat> just relax feet flat on the floor if you're sitting at a desk with the knees about a hips width apart your sit bones are raised a little bit hands in the meditation mudra right hand nestled in the left with the thumbs touching and shoulders are aligned with the hips and imagine your spine is a string of pearls of light stretching from the base all the way up through the crown of the head and just lengthen imagine some space in between the vertebrae and those all those little muscles along the back and the spine very gently lengthening and your head is very slightly tipped forward and the eyes are down looking along the length of the nose the tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth and relax the jaw as we bring our attention to the crown of the head and relax the scalp and the forehead and the eyes the nose the cheeks the area around the mouth back of the head and relax the ears the inner ear the temples relax the back of the neck and the shoulders and allow the shoulder blades to drop down relax the throat the chest the belly limbs hands fingers feet and toes and then bring the mind very gently to the breath and just notice the sensation of the air as you're inhaling and exhaling and if there are any kinds of sounds in your environment whether it be in your home or outside your home try not to have the mind follow the sounds just allow them to be there then again notice what's arising in the mind what's happiness agitation anger depression sadness worry just very gently observe what's going on try not to judge try not to get involved just notice with curiosity what's happening just be aware oh there's some jealousy isn't that interesting rather than oh, I'm such a horrible person I'm really jealous and da 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 so don't get involved with your own stories and then as we've been doing you can just put yourself on the bank of a river your river river of mental moments just allow them to flow on by and you can just watch with curiosity and interest and without judgment so you're not getting swept away while you're sitting there you're not getting involved the thoughts are just flowing on by and let's just bring to mind now all these people of our life the ones we want to think about and maybe dedicate for, pray for our friends, our loved ones, our beloveds, children, spouses besties 
I mean, those people that we find a little bit difficult. Maybe we would prefer that we didn't have to deal with them in our life somehow. And then those people who are complete strangers to us. Bearing in mind, they can all change place at any time. They all have this incredible capacity for enlightenment, regardless of how we see them. And they all want to be happy. They all wish to be free from suffering. So I just think we'll do this meditation this evening on Bhadrasattva, purification for the benefit of all these beings and for all sentient beings on this universe. So remembering there is no negativity that cannot be purified. And this purification process is a psychological one. We're using our mind here. So we're, we create negativity with our mind, so we're going to create positivity with our mind in, with it instead. So first of the four opponent powers is the power of regret. So sincerely regret from the depths of your heart anything you have done to harm any living being on this day, in this life, and in all past lives. And think of specific actions of both your body and your speech and then, in general, regret all. And the reason to regret is based on this logic of karma. We experience everything due to our past karma, our past actions. So having harmed others, we ourselves will necessarily experience suffering in the future. And we know from our present suffering that it's not pleasant, perhaps we don't want more of it. So logically it makes sense to remove the karmic seeds before they ripen as future suffering for us. So think like this. I regret from the depths of my heart having harmed others with my body and my speech, having broken my vows, because I do not want the future suffering. I'm sick of suffering. And also regret any anger and attachment and the rest that are the cause of why we harm others. And then think again, I'm sick of this suffering. And then think, what can I do about it? Whom can I turn to? So we rely upon, we turn to the Buddha, the doctor, who has the methods we can use to purify. And we're not needing the Buddha to forgive us. And we're purifying ourselves by relying upon his methods. So imagine Vajrasattva above the crown of your head. You can imagine also this is your, your teacher manifesting in this aspect for your benefit. He's made of radiant, blissful white light, sitting cross-legged on a white lotus. And this lotus, although born out of mud, is not tainted by that mud. So this is just an analogy for our own potential. Although born out of our delusions, it's not tainted by them. There's this beautiful radiant white face. His eyes are long like lotus petals and peaceful and full of love and compassion for you and all those people of your life. And he has a sweet red mouth. His hair is black and held up in a top knot. His arms are crossed at his heart, the left underneath the right. The left is holding a bell representing wisdom and the right is holding a vajra which represents the indestructibility of compassion their being crossed represents the union of these two, which symbolizes enlightenment itself, the development of infinite wisdom and infinite compassion. To the Buddha, the Dharma and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened. And by this practice of meditating on Guru Vajrasattva, may I reach Buddhahood so to benefit, in order to benefit all sentient beings. So this is a little section on compassion, developing compassion. So in order to develop compassion, we need other beings. So think of the beings you've harmed and think of the beings who've harmed you and try and develop a sense for them to be free from suffering. A wish in your heart for them to be free from suffering, even though the latter is a little bit more difficult. And the reason that the people who've harmed you are going to suffer is based on karma. So the harm they've caused you is going to ripen for them in the future and will never be clear exactly when could be really inconvenient. So make a strong aspiration to do this practice for the sake of all these sentient beings and think I must purify for their sake. Excuse me. So there we come to the power of the remedy and this is the actual medicine doing the practice of purification and we use light and nectar so you imagine that, first of all, purifying the body, Vajrasattva very compassionately sends powerful white nectar, almost like coming out of a hose, a waterfall, 
like maybe Niagara Falls or maybe you have your own waterfall that you like to visit so imagine that just pouring very forcefully from Bodhisattva's heart and this arcs around and enters your crown and pours into you filling you completely and it keeps pouring into you until it forces out of your lower orifices all the harm you've ever done to any living being with your body in the form of inky liquid and this pours out of you and disappears into space not one atom left as you recite the mantra Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dira Mebowa Sutokaya Mebowa Supokaya Mebowa Anarakta Mebowa Sawa Sidi Mempi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuruhum Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dira Mebowa Sutokaya Mebowa Supokaya Mebowa Anarakta Mebowa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sitsa Me Sitam Shri Yam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sitsa Me Sitam Shri Yam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutsa Vajrabawa Vajrabhava Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dira Mebhava Sutokaya Mebhava Supokaya Mebhava Anarakta Mebhava Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sitsa Me Siddham Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramame Mutsa Vajrabhava Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dira Mebhava Sutokaya Mebhava Supokaya Mebhava Anarakta Mebhava Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sitsa Me Siddham Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramame Mutsa Vajrabhava Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Tino Patita Dira Mebhava Sutokaya Mebhava Supokaya Mebhava Anarakta Mebhava Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sitsa Me Siddham Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 ho bhagawan Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabhava maha samaya sattva ahum pe Vajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita Dira me bhava sutokaya me bhava supokaya me bhava Anarakta me bhava sawa siddhi me mpi yatsa sawa kama sutta me Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabhava maha samaya sattva ahum pe so be delighted that all the harm you've ever done to any sentient being with your body is completely purified and think there's no way you could do anything but benefit others now with your body. So next is a purification of speech. And Bhadrasattva very happily sends powerful nectar from his heart chakra. You can imagine it arcs around and enters your crown, fills your entire body, except this time forcing out through the top parts of your body all the negativity of your speech. And this overflows and disappears into space, not one atom left. So it's the same, Lamia, she says, it's the same as when you turn on a tap in a sink, filling up a dirty glass, perhaps maybe milk or yogurt. All the kind of bits, the dirty bits, kind of float up to the top and overflow, don't they? So it's the same as this, except I think, you know, what I've heard is twice, actually, once from Shay and once from another Lama, I can't remember who it was, this kind of energy is forceful enough to blow a hat off the top of your head. So it's not quite just overflowing, it's a little bit more energy than that. So you can imagine all the gossip and the harsh speech and the useless speech and lying, talking about others behind their backs and getting other people to agree with you. All of this is purified by this powerful nectar filling you as you recite the mantra. Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dira Mebhava Sutokaya Mebhava Supokaya Mebhava Anarakta Mebhava Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sitsa Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutsa Vajrabhava Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dira Mebhava Sutokaya Mebhava Supokaya Mebhava Anarakta Mebhava Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sitsa Me Siddham Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 
Aho Bhagavan Savatata Gata Vajama Mimutsa Vajabala Mahasamaya Sata Ahompe Vajasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sidam Shriyam Guru Hum Haho Bhagavan Savatata Gata Vajama Mimutsa Vajabala Mahasamaya Sata Ahompe Vajasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Siddham Shriyam Kuru Hum Haho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata Ahom Pe Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Siddham Shriyam Kuru Hum Haho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satra Ahom Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mepi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sutta Me Siddham Shri Yam Kuru Hum Haho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satra Ahom Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa, Supokaya Mebawa, Anarakta Mebawa, Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sutta Me, Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Haho Bhagavan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Satra Ahom Pe. So again, feel so happy that your speech has been purified completely and it's not possible to do anything other than benefit others now with your speech. So particularly think that may every syllable that falls out of your mouth is going to be of benefit to those people who are going to hear it. Whether it be an animal or a human or any kind of um, maybe reptile, insect. So next is the purification of the mind. And Bajrasattva very compassionately again sends powerful beams of light from his heart chakra of this arcs around it as your crown fills you completely. And it's sort of the same as when you t walk into a pitch black room, switch on a light, that light instantly dispels the darkness in the room, doesn't it? So same here. The moment the light from Vajrasattva's heart touches your heart, all the darkness of the neg negativity of your mind, so all the depression and anger and sadness, anxiety, bitterness and grudges, all these kinds of things instantly dispelled as we recite the mantra. Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Stokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Siddham Shriyam Kuru Hum Haho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Satra Ahom Pe Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Siddham Shriyam Kuru Hum Haho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Satra Ahom Pe Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Siddham Shriyam Kuru Hum Haho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Satra Ahom Pe Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Siddham Shriyam Kuru Hum Haho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Vajrabhava Mahatsamaya Satra Ahom Pe Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dira Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa 
and erect a mebo of Sawa Sidim, the Piazza Sawa Kamas, it's a me Sidam Shriam Kuru, whom ha 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 ho, Bago, and Sawa Tata Gata Vajamami Mutsa Vajabawa Mahasamaya Sata Ah, hum pay. And Vajasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajasapa Dina Patita, Dida Meboa, Sutokaya Meboa, Sipokaya Meboa, and erect a mebo of Sawa Sidim, and Piazza Sawa Kamas, it's a me Sidam Shriam Kuru, whom ha 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 ho, Bago, and Sawa Tata Gata Vajamami Mutsa. Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sata Ah Hum Pei Ambajasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dita Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sidam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramami Mutsa Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sata Ah Hum Pei So be, again, be delighted that all your delusions, which are the source of all of our suffering and the cause of why we harm others with our body and our speech, are totally purified. And think there is no space in your heart now for anything other than love and kindness and forgiveness and wisdom and bliss and compassion. So next is the purification of even the imprints of negativity of the body, speech and mind. And this time you can imagine that Vajrasafa sends light, and also nectar fills you completely. And if you like, you can do a couple of mantras each for the, the visualizations of the body and the speech and the mind, or else just imagine light and nectar pouring into you and filling you completely and eradicating even the subtlest imprints of negative energy from your mind as you recite the mantra. Um Bajasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajasapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Supokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajamami Mutsa Vajabawa Maha Samaya Sata Ah Hum Pe Um Bajasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajasapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Supokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Ah, hum pay. Um, Bajasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajasapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Supokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bagoan Sawa Tata Kata Vajramami Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata Ah Hum Pei Um, Bajasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajasapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Supokaya Meboa an erecta mebawa, sawa sidi, mempi yatsa sawa, kama sita me, sitam triam kuru hum, ha 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 ho, bagawan, sawa tata gata vajramami, mutsa vajrabawa, mahasamaya sata ah, hum pe, and bajosapa samaya, manupalaya, bajosapa dina patita, dida mebawa, sutokaya mebawa, supokaya mebawa, an erecta mebawa, sawa sidi, mempi yatsa sawa, kama sita me, Sidam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramami Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata Ah Hum Pei Ambajasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anurakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sidam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramami Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata Ah Hum so feel completely purified really try and believe it not one atom of negativity left in your mind stream even the subtlest obscurations to your enlightenment have been removed so all the dirt's gone only left with who you really are so next is the power of resolve and this is the fourth and really crucial step is this determination to try not to harm with our body and our speech and our mind again And so without this kind of decision or determination, we're going to keep doing the same old things over and over again. So we just decide, I'm going to work on something. Maybe it's my speech. Maybe I'm going to work on it for five minutes. Maybe I'll try working on my speech for a whole day. 
Or if that's not possible, I'll just work on my speech while I'm asleep at night. And that's, although you might laugh, it's a start. Better than nothing. You have this aspiration in your mind. It's like a little seed that you've planted that will grow. So think of something you want to work on. And between now and tomorrow, Sunday, Monday, And then think, this determination to not do again is what gives us the strength to change. So now imagine Vajrasattva is delighted with us and wanting to merge with your mind, melts into white light and absorbs into you through your crown and think, my guru's body, speech and mind and Vajrasattva's body, speech and mind and my own body, speech and mind are the same thing. And Lamayeshi used to call that union oneness. So Rinpoche now recommends to meditate on the emptiness of the three circles. In emptiness there is no I, the creative negative karma. There is no action of creating negative karma. And there is no negative karma created. So at whatever level your mind understands emptiness, just place your mind, place your mind there for a moment. So we can just think of all phenomena as being empty. They do not exist from their own side. You can also think that perhaps the way things appear to you may not be the way they actually exist. So we can dedicate all the merit, all the positive energy you've created doing this purification to all living beings and think, may all the virtuous karma I've created from doing this practice ripen as my enlightenment for the sake of sentient beings as quickly as possible. And for His Holiness the Dalai Lama, the wish-granting, wish-fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit and happiness in this world, to the incomparably kind Tenzin Gyatso, I beseech, may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. And for Lama Zafarim Shai. Chen Zing Kyong Pel Wei Kun Zha Dog Por Zhe Chog Sum Kur Wei Leg Mon Tu Drub Pa Dog Sog Dul Zhe Gon Du Jab Ten Chog and for Lama Ursul, Venable One, to you whose kindness exceeds out of all the conquerors, for those wanderers in far off places, especially the West, mindful of your loving concern for us in intentionally descending again into a family of a far distant land, we make this request, O Lama, please, please live long. And because you share a beloved teacher leading your students toward wisdom and compassion, explaining through exacting discernment the steps of the graduated path, you are the unequal guide. Please live a long and stable life. There you go. Thank you so much, everybody. So lovely to see you all looking so happy and well. And um, do take care and have a safe and wonderful weekend. And I will see you on Monday. Okay, lots of love. Thank you.